G'day all, welcome back. They're about to get the cage off the spreader. I'm about to grab the Freightliner and go and pick up this roller. Let's get into it. I've left them with a GoPro, so we'll see uh, see what sort of footage they come up with. Oh, Casey, camera shy. Casey, come here. Hello. Are you camera shy? Oh, no, you're not. Oh. There's Paul. He's bringing around the telehandler to take off the cage. He's got the flashing lights on because it's a necessity. It's a necessity to have the beacons gone. Look at him. He's under pressure. He doesn't know what's happening. Can he do it? Always oh, feeling the pressure now. Righto. We got the chains on. Ready to be lifted up. Put her away. Clean the top. Have the down. Hey John, you better you better use this footage because I've, I've I've um you know I've gone out of my way to film this so I, I, I won't be happy if you don't use it in the video, please. Yeah, peace out, viewers. Right, he's gonna lift the uh, lift the cage off, off the spreader, and we're gonna see what happens. I may have put the chains on uh, slightly wrong, but no dramas. Look at that. There we go. Right, Tom Brooks farm viewers, the cage is all off. Back to its resting spot. How nice. Definitely didn't take longer than it should have. But Paul is a very distracting person. Um, he's not very good on the telehandler. I'm just kidding. <laughs> By the way, if I look like an absolute fool doing these, John, don't put them in. Just pop all of Paul in. Um, and we'll be all good. Yeah. So I'm currently just driving my Freightliner down to my cousin Tom's place. That's where uh, the roller is. It's not his, it's the neighbours. Uh, but I've that's where, it, uh, that's where it last ended up, and um, I'm also going to be borrowing Tom's float, because uh, I don't have one. So that's where we're headed. Grab this float, grab the roller, then um, drop the roller off, and then I've got to get the float back down to Tom, because uh, they need it basically straight after lunch. Yeah, easy. As we're driving through Cascade, I thought I'd show you what's here. So, we've got a grain bin, uh, we've got a school here, which my kids go to. So here's CBH just there. And uh, in there is the uh, Cascade Primary School. Then the last thing we have is we've got a hall, which has got tennis courts and an oval. So that's just in there. One day I'll show you guys in there, but not today. So here we are, just got to get the float and hook on. Now for those, you may have already discovered him, Jack out the back is also my cousin, so he lives uh, up on a station up north, and his brothers are down here on the farm uh, in Cascade. So there's two brothers down here, and then Jack out the back up there. So if you want to check out another farm vlog, a station vlog, then check him out, because it's quite cool, the things that they're doing with the station, and how they're working the cattle and bringing them down here to um, fatten them up in their feedlot. So yeah, if you want to see it, I'll chuck a link in the description below and you guys can go check it out. We've got one float, now we just need one roller. Now I don't know if it's going to pick it up on the GoPro, but all the way out there, 
some moo cows. And it runs on Aerostar. <laughs> After about half an hour, 40 minutes of messing around with the fuel system, we uh, got it bled. She's finally started and running on its own, uh, own steam. So now to get the trailer ready, have some adventurous time driving that up. It's on there, it's loaded, time to get it back to the farm. They made it! Here in one piece, it's trying to get a little loose at the end, but it's here. So now I'm just waiting for Dad, he's bringing down some hydraulic oil for me. The steering when we were getting it on wasn't really working, so I kind of need the steering for getting it off. So I'm going to fill it up with some hydraulic oil and hopefully that fixes our issue. And then, uh, yeah, at some point we'll be able to roll that road. Righto, he's gonna, he's gonna try and drive it off without tipping it or breaking it. And apparently the steering doesn't work or something. So, let's see how it goes. safely it was a bit of a mission now we'll leave it there for a little bit need to open these windows because something has died in here there's multiple beehives as well so it's very stinky so i think i'll gas someone if we uh put them in there straight away to roll the road now i gotta uh go and get that back to tom well it's the next day and uh george is busy giving that all a wash so I've got to just go and uh, move some things around in the shed so I can park things away we've still got Grover out out there uh, so yeah could do a bit of a shed shuffle Henry's uh, down uh, doing the ripping so he'll be finished by lunchtime with that so that'll be good we'll get art parked away uh, so yeah I need to move obviously Bill Izzy the Shepherd Manny needs to go back over there. The bug's fine where it is. Uh, yeah. The shuffle is complete. And George is finishing off the last final touches of uh, cleaning his cab out. So next job on the cards is we need to smudge all that clay.
clay that we got Aaron to spread. Uh, so we got to yeah, get a, a bar and you smudge it and you break all those big clods of clay up into little clods. And then that means that when the spader comes along, it's a lot easier and it's a lot better for the soil. So what we need is um, essentially just a, something like this. You want to knock the, the clay going one way and then you come 45 then you come 45 and you just want something that's going to disturb it and essentially break it down into little rock sizes. So now we've uh, got to find something. What I forgot to mention was we're at our rock and that's where everything goes to die. So you can see our cars going by, the old ute, augers, engines, truck. So everything goes here when it uh, its life is up. Got old tractors, cars, the old boom spray, many, many a beehive, tyres, yeah it's uh, where all our junk goes that you don't want to just go and throw on the ground because it's useful. You can come and cut it up or steal it or use it for something else and that's what we're planning to do now. So we've got two options, we can either cut up these old sonic boom sprays, or boom spray arms, whatever you want to call it and weld them all together uh, or we'll go back to what I just showed you just before that old Morris bar so I reckon that might be our option it's uh, already a frame we just got to cut a few things off and it'll be a bit heavier um, so yeah I think that's uh, what we'll be doing got the oxy down here and George is just about to bring the tally handler in for those wondering why we're not jumping in the roller and going and rolling that road today at the moment it's currently 33 degrees and only increasing it's nearly 11 o'clock so it's uh yeah I'll kill someone if I put them in there <laughs> so we'll do that on a bit cool bit of a cooler day so I hope for next week so the plan for now is we're gonna remove this arm and that arm over there and then we'll yeah see what else needs removing and then we'll take it off <laughs> take it off when needed you see how far I got? and uh yeah, that's our plan. Got that all secured and time to get that rolling and do some cutting. Righty yo! What shall we cut there? A bit of excitement, started a fire, it's all right. Fire burns now. And I've, uh, good thing I was wearing my safety glasses, but they're now ruined. Not that you guys can see that, but the uh, sparks all went into my face. So, this is why we wear safety glasses. Why would you do that for? You should have just taken it to the eyes. That's the whole point. Front side bank. Sure, he won't show you on YouTube.
We're just having to reposition the telehandler because we can't reach that wing there. So we're going to move all the stuff there and try and come in from there because definitely want to have something supporting it while I'm cutting it and uh, not have it just drop on me. So, but uh, all in all, that one pretty pretty well. A few fiddly bits, small fire, ruin my sunnies. That's all right. I'll uh, just have to get some new ones in town. That wing is going to have to wait until after lunch because we are out of gas. So it lives for another hour. Gas has been replaced. Now we can cut that wing off. Aside from being very, very sweaty after doing all that, it's about 38 degrees here now. We got those wings off. George is about to lift this. We're gonna put it over on the rock over here and work on it over there. Easy. I didn't bring the four chain down. I should have done that. All we had was the two chain, but it's uh, it's down and safe fish. So we'll cut all the stuff off the top here, and then we'll flip it up, and then we'll get all the stuff on the bottom. Take it back to the shed, make up a draw bar, and we should be uh, smudging clay before we know it. So as George was uh, disconnecting, we just nudged it back down, so now it's all safe. So working on that, we're not gonna hurt ourselves. For anyone interested, it's an old Morris Magnum. Don't have a date or anything on, there's no stamp anywhere, but that's about all I can tell you. I'll have to ask Dad to find out the history behind it. But yeah, it's currently 38, so we're... George is just watering down the stuff that caught on fire. Yeah, it's currently 38 degrees, so we're gonna go home, have some water. Um, I'm gonna leave the video there, so we shall see you guys in the next one.